Breaking news alert out of Montgomery County. Yeah, that's where deputies are investigating a shooting that left two people dead. That scene located at a home on Larks Air Place near Kirkendall and Research Forest in the Spring area. Channel 2's Brendan Walker live there for us. So, Brendan, what have you learned about the victims? Well, we do know that it was a father-in-law and his daughter-in-law, Sion and Jonathan, that they identify them as 85-year-old Clarence Comer, his daughter-in-law, 62-year-old Carmelita Comer. The bodies found in the backyard of the house you see here over my shoulder. Investigators at this hour trying to answer the question here, why? On the other side of the crime tape, a family sat, steps away, home turned scene of a murder mystery. An apparent murder suicide, investigators say. So we've got a, uh, a father in law and a daughter in law. Uh, of course, our detectives are looking at that relationship to see if there's any strife, what led up to this. Detectives will be talking to relatives, too. Six adults live in the house here on Lark's Air Place. They were home, investigators say, when at least one of them heard a gunshot minutes after noon. They made their way to the backyard and found uh, two individuals deceased. A neighbor also heard the gunfire. That's the known here. What's unknown, say investigators, what led to the shooting and why. The deceased, 85-year-old Clarence Comer and Comer's daughter-in-law, 62-year-old Carmelita Comer, who shot whom? Unknown. Both bodies and a gun found in the backyard. One shot for each is what we're looking at right now. However, autopsy, and once we can get their clothing off, that may tell us a different story. And the medical examiner left with both bodies within the past hour. Investigators also tell us that they did search 911 records for this address and nothing came back. So again, it's a big mystery as to what led to all of this. As soon as we get more information, we'll be sure to keep you updated. We're live tonight in the Woodlands. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brandon, thank you.